How's it going guys? It's uh, day three of Overland Expo West 2019, Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm hanging out with Jason from Primal Outdoors. What's going on, man? How's it going? So, me and Jason have been hanging out this weekend and chit-chatting back and forth. I've been following him for a while. I know that a lot of the people that watch my channel or also watch his. Um, I'm just a big fan of his photos and the way you do your cinematography and stuff at camp. I mean, I'm sure you've heard it a million times before, but your stuff is pretty incredible. So, what we're here uh, doing is kind of chit-chatting about his new build. It's a Kia Telluride. He's going to tell you a little bit about it, um, some of the people that he worked with on the build and um, you know what he thinks of uh, using it so far. So what, what are we looking at? Yeah, so anyways, um, so Ron Tonkin Kia out of Glasstone, Oregon contacted the channel and, and asked if I would be interested in using uh, the new Kia. I actually wasn't familiar with the vehicle and it was kind of out of the blue. You know, a lot of people don't think of Kia as being a overlanding vehicle. But uh, I did some research on the Telluride. I took a look at some of the SEMA builds and what Kia had done with them. And it interested me a lot. So um, I told uh, Ron Tong Kia as long as we could build it out and, and make it work for the channel, I'd be very interested. And so they took that and they took the Kia over to Wonderlust Overland out of Oregon City. And it, they did a really good job of building this vehicle out, especially being a first gen vehicle and not having any aftermarket support. They had to get very creative in a lot of the things, but they did an amazing job and uh, I, I couldn't be happier with it. I've had an opportunity now to take the vehicle out uh, a few times. I've had it in pretty deep snow. I've had it up in the high desert, out in the mountains, uh, some pretty rocky, ruddy terrain, and the vehicle's done very well. Uh, what I've been telling people here at the expo, I feel like it's a vehicle that if you really like to do some road tripping, uh, a lot of scenic byways, uh, going through nice uh, old towns and a lot of beautiful countries like what we have in Oregon in the eastern parts, uh, it's a great car for that, but it's also very capable off-road. But if you're wanting a, you know, to go mudding or rock crawling, it's not going to be the car for you. But <clears throat> I've enjoyed the car. It actually has a lot of power. It's pulled my trailer really well. You know, for those unfamiliar with my channel, I have a 99 Ford F250 uh, with a V8, and this vehicle actually outpowers that that truck 10 to 1. Uh, you know, the, it, it has no problem pulling the trailer. I don't even know it's back there and it cruises along really nicely. So uh, it has all the power in the world uh, for doing that. It's, it's got a 5,000 pound towing capacity. So, you know, any type of little overland trailer or anything like that's gonna handle no problem. Uh, it, the other thing that I really like about it is the comfort features. You know, I've really enjoyed the heated seats, the cooled seats, heated steering wheel, adaptive cruise control, lane assist. Uh, as far as my dogs are concerned, I've really enjoyed uh, having them, a, a bigger space for them than I do in my other vehicle. Uh, air, air conditioning just for them and the uh, window visors that kind of come up in the back that are stocked that help keep the sun off them, so that's been great. We built out the back of it just using some basic Unistrut. Uh, that's industrial, you can buy it from Home Depot. If you have a hacksaw and a, and a 916 wrench, I feel like you can kind of build the world out of it. But we uh, built a framework so that my gear uh, is um, situated to where it can't fall forward and get on the dogs or me if I had to stop hard. Um, also, it gave me a mount for this um, Snowmaster fridge. But uh, kind of going over a few things that Wonderlust did, you know, they built a custom bumper, Warren supplied the winch. Uh, we got an ARB twin air compressor under the hood. Uh, we have a dual battery. The car comes standard with a 80 amp hour AGM. So it was really easy just to add a, a simple relay and add another 120 amp hour AGM in the back uh, without having to have any separate charge profiles. So I think that was a real plus on Kia's part to, to put that type of battery in the, in the vehicle. Uh, we also did a two inch spacer lift on it. Now there's no spacer lifts available for this vehicle. So uh, Wonderlust had to have one specially machined by a machine shop, uh, you know, to get the car, you know, give us a little bit more clearance on the car. And, uh, you know, Rhino Rack supplied the rack. They set it up. We had to do a little tweaking to, to get it to work with the car, but Rhino Rack is actually working on um, a mount system for this car. So they will have something in the future for it. We were just a little ahead of the game. Uh, CBT provided the awning and we've got 
that and an awning room that can go off it and, and that's been working really well for me because I came up to Flagstaff without a trailer. Uh, but yeah, overall the car is really nice. I really enjoy, enjoy driving it. The comfort fe features are amazing. Uh, the power is there. Uh, it's just it's just really a, a, a really great overall vehicle. And we have a huge semi driving right behind us here. So uh, that's just Expo and the way it is. But there's a lot of cool stuff out here. Um, I've been really impressed with, you know, like all the, a lot of people have been really interested in the car. Um, I, I think it's really cool. So it's just, it's something unique. It's, it's just, it's something a little bit different, you know, and, and it's, a, it's been a lot of fun. Cool, man. I appreciate you giving us the tour. No and, problem. Uh, I appreciate you obviously coming by. appreciate meeting you. Check this guy out if you aren't already. Primal Outdoors on uh, on YouTube and also on Instagram. He's got a beautiful Instagram. Tons of great photos. Uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, it's been great, dude. Right, enjoy Thanks the rest a lot. of the expo.